So I think it's when you think about why is that important? Why is it important to stop the buildup? Okay, defend an opponent's half. And then I also want you to think about what do you do or how do you disrupt the buildup? That makes sense? How do you disrupt the buildup? Okay, and why is it important to disrupt it? Got it? Okay, let's go back out. So the questions, okay? So here's the first question. Now I want I want you guys to answer it, okay? Why is it good to win the ball in the opponent's half? Okay, right here. It's easier to score. Okay, tell me a little bit more about that. Why? How? Why is it easier to score? Because you're closer to their goal instead of having to start all the way back from your own half. Okay. Anybody else? Perfect. Thank you. Um, if you pressure high, then they can't get far without you. Like your defense, like being there to. Okay. So you're eliminating them from moving forward, yeah. and you might have to stall them. Say again, you have to stall them. You have to stall them so people can get back, and they don't have to run a long way. Because Why is it important that they get back? So that if we get beat, then they can cover me, and then they can get back. Okay. And then I'm putting you on the spot, but how does it tie into what he said? Close to goal, right? Anybody else have a thought on that? Okay, so the second question is, what do you need to do to disrupt the buildup right away? Like, what's the first thing you need to do? Pressure quick. Pressure quick. Okay, tell me more about how do you pressure quick? Okay, so I have the ball. So how would you pressure me quick? Show me. You'd run up and pressure it. Okay, good. Would you guys agree with him? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so once you pressure, you got to cover it. Okay, why? How does that help you in disrupting the buildup? Because then they, they have to take on two men instead of one. Okay, would you like that in defense, a 2v1? Yeah. Okay, and then it ties into what these guys are saying that you're close to your own goal, so if you win it, you can go and try to score immediately, right? Okay, so we're gonna go back out and play. I want you to think about that, okay? I want you to think about how we get compact, how we pressure the ball, and then what do we do when we win it? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, and nothing wrong on reading the questions verbatim as to what they say. Okay, so the key word, get compact, get compact, yeah. pressure, we're talking about pressure. Yeah, yeah. we're talking about cover. Okay? Uh, balance, they might not quite understand what that means. They have to have an idea and they talk about attacking the ball. So they do it right? Okay, so they probably have an idea of what they think they know how to do the time and know what they're doing. Now we're going to play for another five minutes. Get it? Whatever, it doesn't matter. If you can get on it, perfect. I'm gonna trip. What are you trying to do with the ball, Orange? You're trying to dribble into this zone. And the gray is trying to stop them from dribbling the zone. If you win it, what can you do? Shoot. Shoot. Okay, got it? Okay. Once it goes out of the zone, doesn't have to go to the keeper. Here we go. Out of the zone. Here we go. We're playing. Still playing, it's live. Okay, what I want you to do is I'm going to go wide on that channel over there. And you're going to trade in with the guy that's wide over there when I tell you to. Okay? I want you to go wide over there and you're going to trade in with the guy when I tell you to. 
Okay, so I want you to look at the five elements. So he's out of the zone, the defenders touch the ball, now we've got to press the ball, right? Okay. What's, uh, what's the cue though? So why would I press them? So right here, what's your name? Jeter. What is it? Jeter. Jeter. So Jeter, when you go and press the ball, what do you want to have happen? Um, them to panic. Them to panic. Okay, I want you to think back to the game we played though. How did you how did you win the ball back? Could you just do it by yourself? No, I need someone to cover me. You need someone to cover you. So the rest of the team has got to get behind you and they got to get compact. Right? So what because why? Because I can beat somebody can catch up. He gets beat. Come center with me next next to you. So if he gets beat, right, does that make sense? Now there's players behind him. Okay? So the challenge here is is that if you go do that by yourself, what's gonna happen? I might get beat. You might get beat. Is that gonna allow Orange to advance higher up the field? Yes, it is. Okay, do we want that to happen? No. Okay, good. So we're gonna go back out. I want you to think about the press. So what I saw was everybody running towards the ball at once. Okay, so if one player goes, the rest have to get organized, compact, and behind the player that's pressing, okay? Okay, I want you to think about it because they're high up the field. If we win it, we can score, but we don't, we don't have a threat behind us because our goal is not to our back, okay? So we don't need to necessarily win it right away, yeah? Okay, let's go. Okay, one more, one more, one Yep, playing, let's go. Okay, good. 
Okay, good.